What's up guys, welcome to my latest video and this is going to be about how to set up Skyplayer for the 360 and for the PC if that's what you want. Um, this is video is a follow up from my Skyplayer walkthrough on my older channel, I'm going to put a link to that in the annotations. But um, on that video there's a lot of people commenting how do I set it up and um, how do I get started, how do I get the movies, how do I get the sports, things like that. And um, this video is hopefully going to show you how to do that. Now, um, this is obviously going to assume you haven't got a TV package already, you're not with Sky, you just completely start from scratch. Um, before we start, you're going to need a gold account, that's what you're going to need. And also, um, I apologise if my cursor is a blue ring, it sometimes gets stuck like that with the screen recorder. So this is what we've got to do to get started, just type in Sky, um, player packages, and you click the first link. That's what you want to do. This is just to show you how much it costs and stuff. Now, you got the entertainment, the sports, the movies, and the sports and movies. But while while this is, um, they use the same names as the TV equivalents. It's not the same. You don't get as many channels. Um, you get like two or three channels from each, like packs. You get like two or th well, you get four kids shows. You get a couple of documentaries. Um, you get the news, the sports, like, well, basic sports channels, news here, a bit from the music and a bit from the variety pack. Now, bearing in mind, some of these channels have on-demand features, some of these don't. Like, for example, Eden, it doesn't have any on-demand, you can only watch it live. Um, and the same with these kids' shows. With um, things like uh, history, you can, you can, it has on-demand features, so you can watch certain things. Now, um... This package will cost you 15 if you want to add the sports to that, it's 35 If you want to add movies instead, it's 32 And if you want to add sports and movies, it's 41 Now, for this price, you could take out a Sky, Sky TV subscription. You know, it's, it's about the same price, and you get a lot more channels. But obviously, that means you don't access the Sky player, um, which is kind of the point. But yeah, as I'm saying, that's how much it costs you a month. Um, you may have seen Sky subscription cards out there. But um, they're meant to be really trials, and they only really come with the Sky you know, the Xbox 360 media remotes, um, and they're not really to be used on a regular basis. It's really quite um, well; they're not very good. Um, plus, you only get this um, really; you doesn't get the doesn't get you the movies. Now, what you want to do after that, you can either go to register for free and subscribe, or you can go to this website here. Um, xbox.com forward slash um, GB live skyper now it tells you what you need and um, basically what you need um, is a sky tv subscription gold and then either xbox multi room or sky multi room sorry or sky broadband unlimited one of these you don't need both um, basically you, you can either have a sky player subscription or sky tv subscription it doesn't really matter now um, what you need to do is, if you have all these things, you can go to register for your Sky ID now, and um, basically that will take you to a form, and you fill that out, you choose your username, you choose your password, you fill out this stuff, it's pretty simple, straightforward, obviously if you're not a Sky Digital you subscribe, you click no I'm not, which I'm assuming you're not, if you're watching this video, um, and you create your Sky ID, and then after, I assume, you'll be taken to a page where... Um, where you can um, you can choose your package, and then you'll have a Sky ID associated with the chosen package. Um, so if you select your movies and whatnot, you'll need to enter credit card information, of course. Um, now, basically, what you have to do is you download download it on your or download Sky Player on your 360, and when you start up for the first time, you'll be asked to enter some login details, um, and you just enter the Sky ID that you've created on the site, and you should have access to all the channels that you bought. Um, obviously you have to sign up to a, a minimum contract which is one month, it's not too bad. Um, it costs you, you know, how much um, you chose. And that's really it, um, basically. So, um, unfortunately I can't recall for my 360 to show you exactly the process, but you know, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So basically again, fill it out, go, well, go to this website, fill out, uh, go to register for your Sky ID, fill out this form, after you filled out this form, you can choose your package, 
Once you've chosen your package, go to your 360 and enter your login details and you're set. That's it really. No, um, no really confusing things about it. When you, you can only use Skyplayer on one 360, um, or at, you know, per whole Skyplayer ID. So you can't enter your Sky ID on two different Xboxes and still have access to that. It doesn't work like that. Um, now, what happens if you want to watch it on your PC? Well, that's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to home and um, basically you sign in and you can access whichever things, whichever you know, channels that you've chosen that you can watch. Um, and that, that, that's it really. You, have to, you can register up to five PCs, so you can have diff you know, five PCs um, on one Sky ID and um, that's pretty good. But you can only have one Xbox per Sky ID. Um, I hope this video has um, helped you out. Um, you know, if you already have Sky Player, if you already have Sky TV, so you need to sign up to Sky um, Broadband Max or Sky Multiroom. But um, yeah, that's it. I hope this video has helped you in some way on how to set up. If you have any questions, please post that in the in the description or in the comment section. Sorry, and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, it, as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future videos you want to share, then please say, and I'll uh, do my best to um, answer them. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.